Hey, what's up everybody? This is Erica Douglas from Erica.biz and I wanted to show you how to make a mind map. Now the first question that you may have on your mind is why should I care about making a mind map? What use is it to me to learn how to make a mind map? Well, every time I create a product or do something that's a little bit larger than a single blog post, I actually use a free piece of software, a website actually, to make a mind map about it. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through exactly how I make a mind map and then I'm going to show you some examples of actual mind maps that I've made that have helped me create products. I mind map almost everything. So here's the free tool I use to create mind maps. It's called MindMeister and you can click on the link right below this video to go to MindMeister. And it, it's great because it's free. Um, you can have up to, I believe, three mind maps for free, and then they want you to sign up for a premium account. But I think that's totally reasonable, and you're going to see why I love this tool. So go click on the link right below this video and go to MindMeister's website right now. You can follow along right as I'm, I'm doing this video. Just open it in a new browser window or tab. Go to the MindMeister site from the link, and then click Sign Up for Free on MindMeister's website. It's going to ask you to enter your email address and then click sign up. Now I already have an account so I'm just going to go into my account after this but when you do this it's going to send you an email confirmation and then you'll be able to log in to MindMeister's website. So once you've logged into MindMeister's website I'm going to show you how to create a new mind map. So now you should be in your MindMeister My Maps section. Now as you can see here, this is mine and I already have several mind maps, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to create your own mind map. So over here on the left side, just click Create Mind Map and we're going to walk right through this. The first thing that you see when you create your mind map is this little blue thing and it's highlighted and it says My New Mind Map. This is basically the center of your mind map and what you want to do here is put the title of your mind map. So let's say for instance if you're creating a new ebook, you might call it whatever your ebook title is going to be. And if you don't know, just write something in there, you know, title coming soon or something like that. Now what's really cool about MindMeister is there are a ton of keyboard shortcuts. And to be honest, and I may lose a little bit of geek cred here, but I'm not a huge fan of keyboard shortcuts, but there are a few I find really useful in MindMeister. So I'll teach you the couple that I know. If you're a keyboard shortcut junkie, there's a whole ton of keyboard shortcuts and you're going to love MindMeister for this. But the first keyboard shortcut that everybody should learn how to use is the tab key. So once you've uh, done your first mind map, the center of your mind map, click the tab key and you're going to get a new node. But what I do is I just start writing down things, everything that comes in my mind. This is like a brainstorm, you know. Maybe I want to write about um, financial freedom. And I definitely, now here's the cool thing, I hit enter once and that saves that node. Now hit enter again and you're going to get another new node. That's pretty cool, right? So here's what tab is doing. Tab is to create a sub node or a smaller node off a bigger node. Enter is to create a new node on the same level. And then you can see here when your mouse pointer changes into these four arrows, then you can actually move them around. And I kind of like to, you know, stack them up like this. And let's say maybe I want to talk about abundance. And I definitely, there's my enter key again, I just hit enter twice. I definitely want to talk about uh, how to make more money. And I'll drag this, there's the four arrows again, I'll drag this over here. And what I typically do when I'm writing an ebook or creating a product is I'll, I'll, I'll make a goal. Like I'm going to take 20 minutes and I'm going to make 15 of these. Or I'm going to take half an hour and I'm going to make 20 of these. And you know, this is a great thing about mind maps is that you can pretty easily delete stuff. So it totally overrides your perfectionist instinct. It helps me figure out things that I wouldn't have figured out before and it helps me make new connections. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, so I brought in a, a node called entrepreneurship. And I think how to make more money in entrepreneurship have some connections. In fact, I think how to make more money might be a chapter title and entrepreneurship might be something that would go in that chapter. And here's what makes this so cool. See how you can just drag and drop and you're going to drop it right onto how to make more money and it's going to create a sub node called entrepreneurship. Now what I like to do at this point is I like to start formatting a little bit. Remember you can go to how to make more money here and 
you can do another tab and you can say something like salary negotiation. Do you see how we're creating an ebook actually through this mind map? You can go over here on the right side and you can change text formatting and I like to actually make things a little bit smaller if, if they're over here in the third category. So I just click the text size small and then I unclicked bold so it's not bold anymore. So now entrepreneurship and salary negotiation look like the same thing. Here's my favorite part of MindMeister are these little icons. And what I use these for is to figure out if I've done an item, if I need to do something, or if I need to look more closely at it. So I use these icons all the time. One of them I commonly use is the warning sign, and I put that next to any item that I need more information on. Like maybe I need to research this in a book or I need some more information. I may even hit tab again and make a little note. Like note, research this. <laughs> I do this all the time. And let's say I've already written part of a chapter, so I'm gonna put a, I use this blue checkbox to say that it's already been written. I use this blue box to show that I need to write about it. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a product idea and I'm breaking it down into manageable chunks so that I can get work done quickly on it. I found that I wasn't able to finish an ebook. 10,000 words just seemed completely overwhelming to me until I broke it down into a mind map and I put these little blue boxes with no check marks in them next to everything and then all of a sudden all I needed to write on my to-do list was finish four subheadings tonight and all of a sudden my 10,000 word ebook came together so quickly and I was completely motivated to do it. I'm going to show you the mind map that I used to create my free blog success manifesto ebook. Okay, we're back in my MindMeister my map section. I'm going to click on my blog success manifesto mind map and I'm going to show you exactly the mind map that I used to create my blog success manifesto. As I said earlier, this is a 62 page 10 thousand word ebook and man it was completely overwhelming until I did this mind map. So here's what I did. See this list over here and it's been grouped into categories. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, these step one, step two, etc. But what I did was I just jammed out like 20 or 30 of these things and if I scroll down for you you're going to see that there are a ton of them and actually if you'll notice Every single one of these is actually a header in my blog success manifesto ebook. It is actually something. And you can see here I used these and I I checked them off when they were done. So I started out with the empty box and then I just went over here to icons and I changed them into a checkbox when the section was finished. So what I did was I did 20 of these things and then I started looking at them and I started lining them up and I realized that they kind of fall into steps. And step one became figure out your voice and angle. Step two became design your blog. Step three, write great content. Step four, promote and publicize. And step five, maximize conversions. Then all I did was I just set a goal to write a few of these pieces every night. And I envisioned them like small blog posts. Each one is only a couple hundred words. Some are a little bit more. A lot of them are a little bit less. But when I finished the ebook, amazingly, it turned out to be over 10,000 words and I was so excited about this. So if you find yourself getting stuck on getting things done, if you find yourself feeling overwhelmed by the projects you're creating, or if you think that creating an ebook or a book is completely impossible, my recommendation is to break it down and to use a program like MindMeister or any other mind mapping software to help you do that. I love MindMeister because it's free, it's web-based, it's available anywhere, and they've got some really cool premium features like an iPhone application and some offline editing tools that make the premium subscription really worthwhile. So take a look, and I hope this helps you get your next project done. I'm Erica Douglas from erica.biz.